That's about a meal and a half for it. <laughs> hey, you got it. Got it. No. Got it. If you've been watching the channel for any time, you know that I love 300 Blackout and always on the lookout for cool new guns offered in that chambering. A while back, we featured the GQ Armory Paladin, an amazing little gun that checked all the right boxes. It performed extremely well, ultra lightweight, and it didn't hurt that it was also pretty easy on the eyes. I was extremely impressed with that version of the Paladin, but the guys at GQ Armory never rest in their pursuit of having the ultimate personal defense weapon. And they've gone through the entire gun, shaved even more weight, and made it more impressive for what they are calling the GQ Armory Paladin Carbon Series, which is now the flagship offering from GQ Armory. The most notable change that is apparent is the carbon model sports a carbon fiber handguard, giving the series its name and helps reduce weight. This is the first time I've used a carbon fiber handguard and I didn't really know what to expect. It seemed plenty strong in use and it did everything that we needed it to do. After all, if carbon fiber is strong enough to make body panels on cars, it's definitely strong enough to make a handguard on a gun. These carbon fiber handguards are available in the PDW size as well as the longer SD sized version. GQ Armory also has gone with an aluminum barrel nut to further help trim the weight. My favorite thing about these handguards is they will house a silencer that is one and three quarters inch in diameter, but they don't seem too overwhelmingly thick like some other ones especially the handguard from SIG that will also house a thick silencer. They've been able to walk that line of still feeling slim yet capable of holding most modern silencers inside them. Plus they look pretty awesome in my opinion, which never hurts. There's a new, even lighter bolt carrier that has a thin, dense chrome finish. This does two things for you. First, the lightweight carrier will lower recoil a bit, making the Paladin an even smoother shooting gun, and the thin, dense chrome is a super slick finish that will help reliability and make the bolt easier to clean, which is always a help when running suppressed. The bolt itself now has the thin, dense chrome finish as well, and again, that should just help with functioning and cleaning. The carbon fiber handguard is pretty impressive on its own, but GQ Armory didn't stop there. They went through the entire gun and changed out all the small parts to titanium to further trim weight. Now the takedown pins, trigger pins, grip screw, buffer detent, firing pin, and castle nut are all made out of titanium. They've really got this gun down to the point where they're just chasing a fraction of an ounce here and there, getting the gun as light as possible without sacrificing performance, while maintaining the ability to hinge open, which is something many of its competitors cannot do. Basically, all that cut the weight of the Paladin down six ounces, respective of whichever model you're looking at. So now the PDW pistol version weighs in at only four pounds, five ounces. And since the real stock weighs less than the pistol brace, the SBR version weighs in at only four pounds, three ounces. This makes it the lightest full featured offering in the category and lighter than the Honey Badger while maintaining the ability to hinge open. If you're chasing the lightest weight 300 blackout, congratulations, you have found it. GQ Armory is also now having their own match grade 300 blackout barrels being made. Now, if you shot much 300 blackout, you know it's not exactly a match grade round, but these barrels are very nice. They feature the very important 1 in 5 twist rate that helps better stabilize the subsonic 300 blackout rounds, and it also features a SIG taper on the muzzle to align better with tapered silencers like the ones from CGS. The barrel proved accurate enough for us to get shots out to 500 yards pretty consistently, which is impressive for subsonic 300 blackout. Hey, you got it. And this only being a seven inch barrel. Ooh, 
Now there are still a ton of phenomenal features that have remained the same since our last video on the Paladin because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Check out our older video to see us go through each of these in depth, but I'll briefly name a few of my favorites. The custom billet 7075 receiver set with right side bolt release. Radian Raptor SD charging handle, SB Tacticals, Honey Badger PDW brace, a great trigger and a Wilson combat grip that is surprisingly nice. This gun is loaded and ready to go right out of the box. No, well it's perfect, it just needs this or that. Throw an optic on this and you are ready to go. Another cool thing that I've been enjoying is this silencer. This is the Onyx K silencer from GQ Armory. Now don't think the guys at GQ Armory just up and decided they would make a silencer. They worked with the guys at Otter Creek Labs who are making some very impressive silencers and GQ laid out what they wanted out of a silencer and Otter Creek made a silencer to fit those specifications and meeting the goals desired. So what were those goals? Basically to be the best performing 300 blackout silencer in the smallest package possible. And I'd have to agree, I'm not sure I've heard a better 300 blackout silencer that is this small. It is only six inches long and like everything else GQ Armory makes, they wanted it to be very lightweight and the Onyx K weighs in at only 8.4 ounces, which is insanely lightweight and you don't even notice it on the end of your gun. While it is optimized for 300 blackout, it of course works on just about any 30 cal or smaller calibers. We've shot it on 308 and a few others and it has done very well. We'll have a full video on the Onyx K in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. GQ Armory looked at the Honey Badger as the ultimate PDW available at the time and set out to make something better with the Paladin. I feel that they did that and now have made it even better with the Carbon series as now the Paladin Carbon is lighter than the Honey Badger. Well, don't get me wrong, I love them both and won't be getting rid of my Honey Badger or anything, but the ability to hinge open for cleaning and general maintenance is a big deal for me, and now couple that with the lighter weight of the Paladin definitely puts the Paladin on top of the pack for me. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Guys, thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you goes out to Callaway Ballistics for providing all the 300 blackout that we shot in this video and yes, it was Callaway Ballistics that we were shooting out to 500, so be sure to go check them out. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. We have some really big reviews in the works that you won't want to miss. If you want to know what those videos are way before they hit the YouTube channel, check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and there you can see what's being reviewed in real time. If you like what you see here on the channel and want to help support Alabama Arsenal, the best possible way to do that is through Patreon. These videos can be surprisingly expensive to make, and every little bit helps and is very appreciated. And guys, we also have Alabama Arsenal gear available in the link in the description right below the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.